All right, so we're um, right now. I'm headed to uh, need powder coating to uh, drop off my Brembo calibers. Um, it's in Newark, New Jersey. Shout out to them. They're pretty dope. Um, car riding pretty good. Uh, got some vibration on the right side. Alignment's a little off. Uh, vibration on the light side because I think this car has aftermarket axles, not OEM. So if you got aftermarket, the balancers aren't in them. And, uh, you get that. <laughs> Luckily, my my other shell has OEM axles and new mounts, all that good shit. So ain't worried about it right now. It doesn't bother me. It's a little annoying on the highway, but whatever. All right, let's continue on. We're here at um, Need Powder Coating, the Magic Bud. Uh, shout out to them, man. They're in Newark. Um, this is the first time me using them. I usually use another song called Perfect Metal Finishing. WTF, GTR. I didn't even notice that when I came in here. My shit box. Uh, yeah, I usually use a, a shop called um, Perfect Metal Finishing, which is also in Newark, but I think they might be closed due to the virus. So we'll use them. We'll see how it comes out. So it'll be ready in a couple days. So um, let's get the drive back. Damn. So that's what we got here. Full wax. Terrier. I don't even want to touch anything in here. <laughs> it's almost brand new, man. Tent and Sound in Manville, New Jersey. Um, I got 20% all around the car, tent, even the moon roof. So, yeah, I, I, I've never tinted any of my cars, but since this isn't even my main car, I figured it was a good idea. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Woo. This thing is out of the car. <laughs> um, I couldn't film any of this. <laughs> it was just way too sketchy, you know, dealing with the jack, trying to get the body of the car up higher above the engine to slide the engine out. It's just a pain in the ass. So I didn't really record any of this to uh, get this out. But we're going to record the build process of this. Um, these engines. Um, have stock 2007 through 2013 Ultima cams in them. Um, we're gonna upgrade those to 350Z slash G35 rev up cams. Um, they, it's an OEM factory cam update, you know, without going way, way, way too expensive. You know, I'm not gonna get like crazy BCs or something for this motor because um, it's a mild boost build. And um, we don't need to rev that crazy high as well when you're on boost. Um, so we're gonna take off the timing cover. Um, we're gonna take everything off from the time related, the heads, everything's gonna come off. We're gonna clean everything up. We're gonna retime the motor. We're gonna, you know, basically rebuild this whole thing from the ground up. And this thing is gonna be a complete beast when it goes in here. So first things first, well, I already did it. I, I did most of the work already. I took everything off, like the power, power steering pulleys, the pump, the crank pulley, everything out of the way. So now I'm just waiting for my ASP ball bearing pulleys to come in the mail for the supercharger itself. You know, when those come in the mail, we're gonna start reassembly on this motor when we get the cams in. Um, this is gonna be. A, we're gonna do a. I'm gonna do a big video on painting this whole engine. This engine looks disgusting. This engine only has probably about 55,000 miles on it, and it looks disgusting. So I'm going to paint this whole thing and make this thing look beautiful again. As to why everything on this side looks like it was getting water on it, how, I don't know. I think it's because 
you know, on this car, there's like a, supposed to be a seal or something that goes along here. I think the seal went flying one day. I never fixed it. So there's a little bit of water, everything water getting on this side of the engine. So we're going to make sure that doesn't happen on this car. So, um, so my wide pipe this is a spec stage two plus clutch. Don't believe the hype. It does hold up to 400 horsepower. We're going to prove it now. We're going to see if this clutch is going to hold all the power this is going to put down. So this is my high flow fuel setup for my E85, air motive regulator, you know, fuel fittings, all that good stuff. Stainless steel three inch exhaust, V banded up, headers are V band. Headers. JWT lightweight flywheel. And you know that everybody has that on the car. So what's left for this car is nothing. Only thing left for this car is strip the rest of the things down. Like the six-speed mount. We're gonna take the six-speed mount off and use it on this one. But um my guy Kirill, my fabricator got the builder. So the so these cars, this car was originally five speed, and there was a, actually a five speed mount welded on here with ears that you with a pinhole you slide the bolt into. So, what Kirill does is he cuts everything off here, welds in a plate with nuts so you can bolt this in efficiently and perfectly. So, this is all weld in. I'm so mad because I just got this done, so I have to get this same exact procedure done on this car. In order to do that, it has to be a hit shop. So we're going to put the engine in the car on completely stock mounts first. It's probably going to feel horrible, but it's just for now until um, we, get, we get the car up and running and supercharged and ready to go. And then we get the car to Kirill's shop in uh, Staten Island. So, um, yeah, man, this, this shit's going, this is going, this build's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun. Cannot wait, you know. It's a mild car, man. It's a front wheel drive car, V6. You know, it's never going to hook, you know, with good tires. You know, we'll see what happens, man. So I'm going to actually, on the transmission side, I'm going to wire wheel this, make this thing look beautiful, paint it, clear coat it, high heat paint. I'm going to paint this whole block, the timing cover. I mean, what color you guys want to see on this? I'm going to, I was going to think about doing like a nice gun metal, you know, but you know, we'll see. Um, I promise this episode, we were gonna see the brakes, and I will not disappoint. Whew. 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 Yeah, boy. So the orange on the blue is gonna look really good. I've never seen orange calipers on a Max. Like everyone does red or yellow or whatever other color they do. This is Illusion Orange from Need Powder Coating in Newark, New Jersey. Hit them up. Powder coating is great. Quick turnaround. Um, these are Project Mew Evo 9 pads. Um, yeah, pretty standard, nothing crazy. Now, as far as the rotors, what I want, what rotors I wanted, um, Z1 Motorsports makes 350Z Brembo two-piece rotors that I wanted, but I don't think my Brembo bracket is actually going to work in terms of bolting the calipers up and being enough clearance. It's not going to work. So we're gonna use the same rotors I had on the other car. They're still good, still life, haven't been used much. So yeah, man, the driveway build is going. This is, this is gonna be crazy. I can't wait, man. So much to come in, so much in store. It's my own. Um, my six speed axles axles were toast not sorry axle on the other car toast axles on this car came with this one were actually very good oem new boots rebuilt ready to go this is the cooling system Ishimoto small fan so yeah man um i got a big interior video coming soon nothing to see right now Looks crazy, but big interior video is coming real soon. Uh, I got a ETA on my steering wheel. This, this COVID-19 has got all my packages and packs backed up. So I don't know when I'm gonna get the steering wheel and the shifter console back. Only time will tell. But the guy told me that we're still on schedule. So I'm gonna hold them to that. So, all right. So 
I'm gonna start cleaning up and then um, I will see you guys in the next video.